What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Fernando Herrera and if you haven't already, I pretty much give advice in terms of tire shops, tire wholesalers, tire mobile shops, anything tire industry related. And in this video, we're going to be talking about you decided to start a wholesale tire business, whether you're importing, buying domestically, local, whatever the case might be, but you're getting in the wholesale tire business and you want to elevate your status. You want to know how can I become from a meh tire shop or wholesale to an actual legitimate good wholesale business that's successful and you got vendors and customers begging for your business. When this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips that hopefully you can know and understand what is what makes the difference of a very successful tire distributor compared to just an okay tire distributor. Now, before we continue again, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get to like 20,000 subscribers soon here. Uh, and, and with your help, that definitely helps. Also big shout out to Tirebase, uh, the sponsor of this video, but more about them in just a moment. So again, if you want your tire wholesale business to be more, to elevate the status of your tire business, uh, tire wholesale business, the number one thing you're gonna need is volume, really. I mean, when it comes to distribution, you know, or wholesalers, you know, tire shops, it might be fast service, quality of this, quality of that. But with distributors, it's volume, right? If you're moving tires, if you're moving 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 tires, that's the game. That's the name of the game in the tire distribution business. Uh, the more tires you move, the better. So you have to be uh, pretty much looking for ways on how to move more volume more successfully. Uh, a couple of ideas here would be, you know, selling to online sellers, right? So simple tire, tire agent, priority tires, uh, you know, all these online tire stores. Uh, there, that's a good way to build some volume, but again, you will have to be competitive in price. Another option is really finding large corporations like rental car companies, uh, dealerships. All those companies could be a good source of good outlets for you to just move volume. Another, maybe not so talked about option would be wholesale selling container loads, right? So again, instead of having a physical warehouse and location, and I have another video, which I might try to link here, put a picture of uh, where I kind of talk about how to start your wholesale business. And I talk more in depth of the different types of wholesale business entities that you can have, or I guess business models. But uh, in that case, in short, how it works is, you know, you're just pretty much collaborating with manufacturers overseas, you're getting like a 1% markup and then you try to wholesale these containers and you make money. You never touch them, you pretty much just coordinate the relationship and, and, and that's it, right? But at the end of the day, volume is extremely important. The moment you gain volume is when you will start getting status, really, that's, it's that simple. The more tires you sell, the more people and vendors and suppliers and customers will be like, man, these guys are, are serious. The second part, other than just volume, is also supplier relationships. Believe it or not, and again, maybe if you're starting out, you just found this out, but having a good supplier and knowing who to buy from, it's extremely important and sometimes you don't know, right? You don't know if this new supplier is gonna take advantage of you, if they're gonna be your friend, if they're gonna sell, start selling to your competitor. And so having supplier relationships, it's extremely important. If you can, again, get an exclusive long-term relationship, that would be even better. For example, we ourselves in, our in, in Las Vegas, in the Las Vegas market, have landed several deals where we go with certain manufacturers or brands and tell them, hey, you know what? We'll sell this brand, but only us can sell this brand in Las Vegas. You know, if anybody else, if any other tire shop and if any other distributor wants to buy this brand, they have to buy it through us. And why do we do this? Well, one, because we secure that there's not gonna be another shop next day just buying the same product and then we're gonna be in a price war, right? We have it at $100, they're gonna put it at 98, then we're gonna go 95 and it's just a race to the bottom. And so by having an exclusive long-term relationship with some, uh, you know, tire distributors and manufacturers, uh, specifically with certain brands, uh, it's very helpful. So again, some of the brands that might be willing to give you uh, exclusive distribution rights could be brands like uh, Aturo, Arroyo, um, uh, Arroyo Tires, I mean, some even, I mean, co bigger companies like Nexon, Hankook, Goodyear, Bridgestone, all those are gonna be more programs, so it's very rare that you'll get exclusive rights to those areas. But again, the smaller tier three, tier, tier, tier four, tier three, uh, those are the manufacturers that you maybe wanna look into. Another way that you yourself, tire wholesaler business owner, can elevate the status of your wholesale business or you know get perceived as better and more successful, which you know eventually you will be, is obviously by your customer portfolio. Again, 
in Vegas, if I just had one shop or 10 shops that are buying from me, uh, yeah, it's just okay, you know, nobody really will care. But if I have Hertz, if I have several, you know, 10, 20 different dealerships, if I have 100 different tire shops, you know, even if they don't buy from me, um, you know, on a daily basis, but at least just having those accounts set up, at least knowing that we could reach out to them, at least knowing that someone already set up that out, uh, again, builds that boost and confidence. It's like a domino effect, like a snowball effect, you know? The, the smaller the snowball is from the top as it slides down, it gets bigger because of all these components, you know, just people see, wow, these guys got distributors, they got exclusive brands, they got customers. I mean, these guys are probably giving some really good deals and I wanna work with them. Or same thing with the distributor uh, or the manufacturer part, right? They're saying, hey, these guys got other brands, they got more customers, we want them to offer our brand, so we're gonna give them a, a bit more aggressive pricing. And so that's how it works, and that's how you elevate, again, the status of your wholesale business. The fourth thing I do wanna to touch here is the logistical uh, capability of your warehouse, right? So again, you cannot be a big distribution center or a big warehouse or be taken seriously if you cannot even do a simple delivery route. Uh, again, I know that it's, it's, it's expensive to hire or buy a van, hire a driver, but it pays off. And again, if you're just starting out, at least starting with one van and one driver, or if it's you or your brother, or your sibling or your wife, whoever it is, you know, you guys are starting the business with, then just start that way, you know, offer a one day delivery, like, hey, you know what, but offer a delivery. Don't be like, uh, no, you have to go pick, come pick them up because you miss out on a lot of business. So if you can go and say, hey, you know what, our route finishes at 12, you know, anything, any order that comes in at 12, we'll send the driver off and it'll distribute to everything, all the orders that we have pending from, from the entire day. Then you start that way, right? And then later you can do a morning and an afternoon route. And then later you can have, have maybe multiple trucks and multiple vans. And, and, and again, the moment you have multiple vans, multiple trucks, again, same thing, elevates the status of your business, which you continue to increase with your snowball and people, more customers come in, more distributors with better pricing come in and you just seem, it just seems to naturally get better. Keep in mind that if you're having issues with the logistical capabilities, uh, there are software out there that could help you eventually, you know, manage routes or at least manage customers and their orders. Like for example, the sponsor of this video, Tirebase. They have this tool that allowed distributors uh, like you know yourself and I to simply share our inventory extremely easy with any customer via an online portal. Then your customer can pick whether they wanna pick it up, like we'll call it, or on delivery. And so again, that just adds super simple because then rather than having someone call you, check the price and all that, you have pretty much like an unlimited amount of salespeople in those people's shop ready to help your customer with their inquiry and place the order through the proper logistical channel. Uh, so I mean, it's, it's, it's an extremely, extremely powerful tool. Again, uh, ever since we went to with an online portal with our wholesale business, completely changed the, the level we were playing in. So if you're interested in Tirebase, there will be a, like a, a promotion we're doing for three months for free. You could try that, you know, portal for free um, and, and check it out. You know, if you like it, good. And if, if not, then comment below and tell me you're mad and, you know, people can see. But uh, trust me, you're going to be happy. So thank you so much, Tirebase, for sponsoring this video. Uh, but with that being said, the last thing I, I do feel it's fair to mention um, we want to uh, address if you want to in increase the status of your wholesale. This is really like ultimate status. Once you reach this level, there's no way anybody can say, man, like uh, pretty much you've already almost made it to the top. And that is market reach, right? Uh, you start off in your neighborhood, maybe in your zip code, then eventually your city, then once you start reaching out of your city or multiple cities or multiple states, then that's where you know, you, you know you're obviously a lot more prestigious. The status just goes from here to boom, because again, same thing, customers look at you differently. Uh, suppliers, manufacturers look at you differently. So again, in our case, uh, you know, we do have a warehouse in Vegas. We don't have one in Texas, but we do have a retail store in, in Texas. So maybe, you know, it's, it's on the works. Who knows, right? Maybe we could start selling in Texas uh, some distribution, like in terms of tires, but that's what you should strive for. And so 
Hopefully this video helps those tire distributors, people starting or wanting to get or researching to get into the distribution center. Again, lots of, uh, lots of videos, lots of ideas I have in this channel. So if you do enjoy this video, just help me by smashing that like button, subscribe to, you know, stay up to date with what's going on. And don't forget to consider using Tirebase. Definitely one of the best softwares out there. Um, again, I work with them all day long. So uh, yeah, again, thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, reach out to me via email, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.